Right, it's uh, Wednesday morning. I'm in Aberystwyth now. The car is fully charged. I'm just moving it to the hotel car park, which is about a minute away. Um, there's my slight gripe. There should be chargers in hotel car parks as well as public ones. Um, the hotel down the road has a charger. Not my hotel. Anyway, not a problem at all. Um, fully charged, no troubles there. Um, should end up in Manchester city centre tonight, all being well. So, uh, yeah, no issues with charging so far. So I should have, we'll have a look. But they should have some range. Uh, 161 miles, there we go. So back in the Premier Inn car park, 30 seconds drive later, but no charging here. Come on, Premier Inn, put some chargers in your car parks. It's just extra money as well you could get. Um, I mean, really, I suppose I could have just paid for parking in the other car park, but you know, they've got a nice car park here, lots of parking spaces and no chargers. So that's my gripe. Let me in. Come on, you could just do that. They don't even have to be fast chargers. Seven kilowatt would be fine. Three kilowatt would be fine. Um, why not? Right, we're in the car. Full charge. 161 miles. We're, next stop is landed. No. Uh, a better route planner says we should have just under half a battery when we get there. Um, so we see how accurate that is. Uh, it's about 86 miles. Two and a half hours driving. I suspect we're going to have to pull over for a loo break before actually needing to charge. And hopefully we can uh, put the car on charge when we get to land. Did know, um, so we won't be waiting around for charging because I don't think we'd get quite all the way to Manchester on one full charge. But it should be an interesting journey across the mountains um, because we'll see how good the regen braking is. Um, going through Snowdonia. Just here at the National Library of Wales uh, in Aberystwyth and I think this is how you do destination charging. Admittedly these are all taken by petrol cars but um, every single parking space in this area has a destination charger and we've also got one, two, three, four Tritium fast chargers. So, well done National Library of Wales. I've had to stop again because I need to go to the loo and a coffee. Uh, battery, however, is on 84%. I've uh, been driving about an hour and that does seem to be our sort of toilet range is about an hour. We're in the Mark Loop here, um, hoping to see some more fighter jets. Um, always an excitement coming through this part of Wales. Um, I'm gonna uh, gonna stop, have a coffee. Annoyingly, I could put the car on charge and get five percent, but I haven't got any chargers here. But I don't need to charge. So uh, yes, when you've got kids, your bladder range is definitely, definitely, definitely worse than the car range. So really, this car is no slower than. Especially around these roads, where you're not going that fast on average. It's certainly no slower than um, any other car. did know we've just been on the Great Orm tramway and we've got 51% still so that's 51% from Aberystwyth excellent economy through the uh, Snowdonia hills and uh, you know really actually on those roads economy is not affected 
by going up and down. Um, you get most of your energy back on regen, so it doesn't really make much difference. So yeah, 51%, we're gonna have to stop at Tesla at Flint, and we should have 25% when we get there. Um, so that would be the only charge needed today. So that's Avarice with the Manchester, with one stop at Tesla, and this is a bit of a diversion as well, so. Highly recommend the tramway, and uh, got here with one to two percent more than a better route planner predicted. So I'm impressed with that too. Well, they got charged, um, but it problem is that these cables are very short, and I had to wait until I could park this way around. But it does mean that there's a free charger over there, which I'm sort of blocking. So not ideal. Um, probably best to come to one of these chargers when it is not terribly busy. If your port is on the wrong side, that's the non-Tesla side. I think the V4 superchargers are going to have longer cables. Um, but yes, a bit annoying really, and not ideal at all, and frankly it's miserable and it's wet. This is my takeaway, bladders, when you've got four people in the car, bladders are just always going to be less than the range of the car. And another thing, I've just tried to go to the loo, this is like a golf club and a chalet or whatever, it's members only. There's nothing here at all, it's just some sort of an area. So these Tesla chargers, they're very reasonably priced, they are, but they're just, I mean, come here to this car park, look. It's a power line, it's a tree, and a bin that's over full. So, the problem is that we've got a good charging network in this country, they're just in the wrong places. Let's sort this out because, I mean, I could be doing something nice at the moment rather than just being cold and miserable. Disgusting. I could have charged when I was parked up. Right, we are in Manchester. We're actually at Media City because that's where the hotel is. Uh, hotel's over the road. We're in this good car park here. Uh, which is the hotel car park, officially. And uh, I have 33%. Can't remember exactly what a better route planner said. And that Tesla stop, I've had a time to think about it in the car. Um, just be good if they had more facilities there and even like longer cables and a roof. But price is good. Got charges here. Um, 30p a unit apparently. So I'm gonna do the old one-handed putting the cable in trick now. Again, um, just goes to show whether it is possible to charge a car one-handed. So again, black, black, and then I'm gonna plug it in here. Cable connected, please hold card, yeah. So, that looks good. I'm using my Octopus Electroverse card. Please get one. If you're thinking about getting an EV, or got an EV and you don't have one of these, get one. Use my link uh, below. Now, I have noticed a bug with these chargers. Sometimes it doesn't charge, so it's always good to... It plugs in and it works, but it doesn't actually start charging. But here we go, this one's working. Three phase AC, so that's really good. So yes, that, um, that Tesla charger was in the right point of the journey, so I was at 25%, 26%. That's optimal time to charge, because when it gets so low, it can't preheat the battery for charging. And when it's... When it's too high, the, the charge rate slows down, so sort of 20%, 25% is the best time to charge. You'll get the most charge per, you know, the most miles per um, hour of charging. Um, so, yeah, it was a good, good time to charge, just a bit annoying that it's rainy and, you know, all of those issues. When, when I left, I was the last car there, so all of those Teslas that were there when I turned up left. And uh, yep, 
here we go. I'm gonna leave the car on charge. Uh, there are plenty of spare bays. I'm not that worried about um, hogging them. Um, if I get a chance, I might move it once it's finished charging, but um, there we go. Um, Manchester, next stop will be Glasgow uh, tomorrow. Got a hotel booked in Glasgow. Charging situation in Glasgow? I'll give you a sneak peek. Less than ideal. But um, it's going to be more of a sort of a traditional long distance journey. Manchester to Glasgow, across the border, and it's going to have, you know, service station charging. So, see how that goes. Yeah, this is working fine. Get an Octopus Electroverse card. Use the link below, please. And we'll see you tomorrow. Tune in next time.